uh, at this stadium uh, covers the repairs of uh, our case from home uh, access points, uh, repairs of our tensile counters and electronic uh, counting systems. And then uh, also, uh, a, what called this, repairs to some of the handrails around the stadium. And then uh, we're also working on the lighting uh, for the stadium, right from the floodlights, to ensure that our floodlights meet international standards uh, for, for, for lighting the stadium. And then uh, also you have to ensure that we also meet the requirements for air conditioning, uh, lighting and other amenities within the change rooms uh, around the stadium. So I would say so far what uh, we have managed to do is mainly scope the, the work that needs to be done and uh, submitted the request for materials that we, we require. But material procurement is still outstanding. I think our supply chain will highlight that we had challenges uh, when lockdown started where most of the suppliers had closed and we were not able to secure materials on time. And then uh, we are also working on appointing uh, contractors because we are going to we are outsourcing the upgrade of the lighting from our old metal wallet lamps to energy efficient LED lighting. So we are engaging contractors. I'm uh, reliably informed that the tenders are closing uh, today and uh, next week we would have appointed a contractor to, to start work on the major works of uh, uh, rehabilitating the lighting. And then on the tensile counters, we engaged SRDC, uh, the company that uh, manufactured the system. Uh, they have started work in terms of uh, repairs of some of the, on some of the main control units, but um, uh, they are still to come on site to, to work on the actual tensiles uh, as they, they were still waiting for their payments to be made as of uh, last week. So we expect that once uh, payments have been done and we have secured the outstanding materials, we will be able to proceed with the works. Thank you. A clad in Yohan around the stadium, I'm a standard. We have we, done the framework, we removed the old uh, cladding which was badly rusted and was the danger to spectators. So we are renewing all that. And we are also repairing the expansion joints throughout the stadium. So we've done two samples, which we yet to approve. We are also floating a tender for new bucket seats. Uh, as you can see, those are fairly old. So we're working on that as well. Those are the main contracts which we're working on. We have requested painting so that we can cover all the stands and we are going to outsource part of the work. But most of the work is going to be done in-house by the team from Lenyere. I think th those are the main highlights of the areas. And we're working on the plumbing for the changing rooms. Because at the moment, the changing rooms were condemned and we are renewing all that and putting up new spacious changing rooms at the back. So those are the main areas which I want to report on. Thank you. Uh, management has put their paws on their heart to see that things are moving according to the plan. But unfortunately, this has been happening without, not without some challenges. Some of the challenges we are facing are to do with the procurement of materials for use. As you have heard all these people presenting, the biggest challenge is that while they are up to the task, they don't have materials to use. One reason why materials have not been placed on, on, the, on the ground for use has been to do with the lockdown. Remember, the lockdown affected us in two folds. One, our own workers themselves were on lockdown. We were only remaining with a limited number of people who were focusing on essential services, that is the health services. But on the grounds, the whole activity was put on hold because of the lockdown. And also, our suppliers themselves, they could not supply because they were also on, on lockdown. By the time this lockdown was partially lifted, that was the time when we expected our suppliers to start supplying the, the materials for use. But then the prices had gone up. As a result, we ended up having to, to revisit the whole supply chain process of procuring the whole materials for, the, for this same project because pre prices had gone up. And this was also amplified by the liberalization of the exchange rate by the Minister of Finance. When it was liberalized, again, prices started going up at more than three times probably per week. So as a result, we could not procure resources for use by our, our city architect, mechanical, and electrical department, because their, main, their job hinges on materials for use. That's, why, that, that's the biggest challenge that we, we came across. And also, some of our suppliers, 
demanded an upfront payment for, for materials to use. So at the moment, our finance and supply chain probably delayed to process the payment with, say, a week. The moment they pay, the man won't be enough to buy the required materials for, for the project. We will buy probably less than half of the materials. So we will continue to raise purchase orders again and again and again and again. And because of the problems that I've alluded to, we are having to start the whole procurement process from scratch. Fortunately, our finance has promised us that once the paperwork is in place, they'll be able to, to, to pay for the materials probably within seven days. And our supply chain has already started working on that. So we are hoping that the materials will be supplied on time. And also something that I, I was supposed to mention, this whole project is led by the acting chamber secretary, uh, Ms. Kandemiri is the project leader. And also that the project of working on this ground started mid-February. And as you can see, from mid-February to end of March, it was only about a month that we started working on this. And we were progressing so well, only until we got to the lockdown period. So yes, there may be an outcry out there, because people may be failing to reconcile the issues of time to say, after we had worked for a month, we went on a lockdown for almost two and a half months. And we are now back to start working on the project. So when we came back, prices had gone up. This is the reason why we had to start the whole procurement process. But hopefully, once all the materials are put in place, we'll be able to, to be up to the task. Yes, challenges may be experienced here, but, but we are quite hopeful that once materials are procured and are on the ground, we are able to, to, to work and complete the project. And also, one thing that I should mention is Rufaro Stadium itself was given three months to completion, and Guanzura was given uh, four months. So if you have to start from now and maintaining the same pace, we are hoping by the end of three months we'll, we'll be somewhere. Thank you so much. Kuya wateta kuno kuzobetsera inye yaka baba kubetsera wataka tanga tishinzo wa nzi bora chana tutuwa kwa ni South Amir wa Mzimbabu. Raku zono tamir wa South Africa. Tika tishikonze roo chiri chei do watanzu wa shunushaka do nongozwa kunzi ma changing rooms enya na umira shaka naka hakuna ma fridge ma changing rooms asku mita ma standards but ma grounds yudu ma picha ananya nyo komple nwa nezrao but it means you don't treat us like this. So that's why that's why we don't want any people to get into trouble. Why? Because no one out of trouble. Why? Oh, change my challenges. I'm going to be a challenger one day. So that's why many years the man was still up and up. Pano zog masala pano get zero. Come on, we go procure me. We go procure me. No, but it's no other challenge. So that's why I'm not married. Do but that's why we go procure. Why? Oh, pay to do a good job. Why? Oh, dinner, cement, no more fridge. Kadungosha ngami se borere as a nation, do pata kwa doneta ji simende ya ya ni mafiri ji ya ya pata kwa baso pindiro wa mwanzo kwa aiwa kuruhi tasa kuku anza kubetsero mito angwa na ndoa kubetsero wa rikwa kwa wanda pata kwa zinzi la ya chuo kufamba na inezi mzungu kwa muna aduta juu ya uzo betsero futi kwa uzo kwa procedure ano vanzo kwa nungu baso kubetsero kuto samte moa chuo tasa ngo tambira tini procedure idia tini tasa. Yatunishins.
Tiri ipa apu shakari, nchia tanga kukucha goma ngu maburure do aruda kubezi rao. Pasinga ziyo tita se, tinga shuke se. Tuu na zunguza, mami chao da kuruda kupendu wa kune makampa na kawanda yimu Zimbabwe kwa nita shi penti. Tuu kuna kuna apu chao, chua uzo wa tizo no. Tanchi kumbiro tu mwite se, mupende. Kana wapenda nuku na namirochi bodi chao chao kanyoro wa tizini ingi ya kaita se, aga pendu. Zunguza shakari kita se, zakutu ende. Kwa tizi, tukunya zo zakule miro kaitu wa guta. Vocês but upon a time. Two more, which is ten years. So I'm not paying the remit this and it goes to the Sunday team. We need to cheat about this. So we this week, I think, committee. If I'm not sitting next committee, name two to a progress is under Tower. I mean, Master.